What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we did a, you know, two-for-one deal. We defeated both the Rock and Ice-type gym leader of, uh, what was it called again? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been a while. Let's see, where are we? In Surchester, yes. The Rock and Ice-type gym leader of Sir Chester. And now it is time for us to actually go to the restaurant right here because Sonya needs to talk to us. I think she wants us to go out with her now. I think it's time for us to, like, finally have a... Finally have that relationship we've been talking about. So here we are in the uh, restaurant right here. I can't remember the name of it. It's been a while, guys. And, well, as you can see, they are waiting for you. And, uh, crud. Hop is here, too. Really? Got, got a G-Badge, Bad Draven? Nice one. Oh, hey, there you are. And, well, she's like, I've been finding out more about the Darkest Day and the Sword and Shield Pokemon, but still, no luck. Oh, wow, I didn't notice that. I, I never noticed that. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Oh, damn, she's looking at that. Oh, wow, she finally figured out something. No way! What's this? Uh, well, I could say a new chapter in the old Galar Legends, a fifth tapestry, an absolutely fantastic poster, but I guess I'm just going to have to go with the first answer because she might just get mad at me. The heroes look sad. And where are the, where are the sword and shield? What was the meaning of this picture? Uh, some kind of seal. I want to say that. I'm very observant. Yes, very, very observant. You think so? I guess it would be that that they were uh, sealed away, or maybe they've gone into some kind of sleep. Hmm, probably. Based on those statues we saw back in Stow Inside, the Sword and Shield were actually two Pokemon, right? That's right. That's my take on it, at least. You remember the Pokemon we met that day? Do you think it would uh, it could have been one of them? Either the Sword or Shield Pokemon? You met them? Come on! You know what I'm talking about, right, Draven? Nope, I'm not even going to acknowledge you, homeboy. I'm just going to put, I really don't. <laughs> yeah. Not so sharp when it's about battle, huh? No, I just don't want to agree with you, homie. Don't you remember that mad Pokemon we ran into the fog of the day? Don't you, don't you think it could have been it? Probably. Oh, that's right! You, uh, you lot, or you lot have been in the slumbering wield. I only started on this journey because my old, my grand told me to, but this is turning out to be so fun. You've got to tell me more. How about we discuss it over a meal? Go on, what do you want to eat? Let's get our orders in. Alrighty, so we're going to get some meals in, of course. You know, having a, a, a nice meal here. I don't even know what they, they serve, but yes, I am heavy. I am full. I am heavy. You know, I'm not hungry anymore, and here's Sonya, she's gonna be like, fascinating. Alright, the next thing to do now that we're done eating is to ha have a look around Sir Chester. Let's inspect the hero's bath. Well, okay, well, let's go ahead and take a look at that hero's bath. Now, if you guys don't know what the hero's bath is, right next door. That big old place right there. Yeah, that place. And, of course, Hop is uh, very impatient. Kind of reminds us of somebody. And, well, here we are. The hero's bath. They say this is where the two heroes came to soothe their wounds after a battle to bring down the evil presence long ago. Nowadays, only Pokemon really use the hero's bath, though. Hmm. Who exactly were the heroes that bathed here? I think I'll have to look into that. Hmm, okay. You two met a mysterious Pokemon back in the slumbering wield. Perhaps you can... You can too, or, or you too can become heroes. What, like a hero waving around a sword and shield? Pull the other one? Uh, though I guess I'd fancy a shield if I had to take my pick. I guess so. What kind of bat or what kind of battle do you think the heroes had back then? I don't know. Probably. Oh crap! Here he goes. <sighs> okay, so let's see what he has to say. Why don't we show her, Draven? Think we can pull off a real heroic battle? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Sonya treated us to a meal. After that, Curry, I feel like we got energy to wrestle a beware. 
I don't entirely understand your reasoning, but I might just uh, I might just as well see what you can do. I'll heal up your Pokemon for you, Draven. So I can get so you can give it your best. Well, even when my Pokemon not that healed, yeah, I still beat this guy. Time for a little exhibition match starring the future champion. Oh god. Have I told you guys how much I don't like this guy? I think I've I think I've been uh, very very clear about that. So here we go, take it on uh, Trainer Hop, and he's coming out with his Dubwool. Finally evolved his Pokemon right there, and here comes out Michelangelo or Michelangelo. I'm counting on you, partner. Okay, it's hailing. I don't think it will affect us, right? Maybe I don't even know. All right, let's go with the liquidation. See how this does. And liquidation gets it. Nearly makes the Dubwool faint, but here comes. Oh wow, I think it has a defensive curl right there, so that's pretty good right there. Okay, and yes, we are both buffed by the uh, the hail, so yeah, that kind of answers that right there. So let's go ahead and finish off our opponent right here with a jaw lock, and well, right before we could say anything, he throws in a hyper potion, so double is back to health, and here we go. Jaw lock takes a nice chunk out of his HP, and well... We're getting hit by uh, hail right here, even though I don't know why snow can be hail. So let's go right ahead and do it again. Liquidation attack, finish him off. And he survives. Good gravy. It must be all that, uh, all that fluffiness he has right there. And yet yeah, we're still getting hit by hail right here. So let's see. It's only fair that the hail kind of finishes him off, but not really. So here we go with the headbutt attack, finish him. Yeah, buddy. That's one down. A lot more to go. So, more of our Pokemon get experience. Michelangelo grows level 49. We're getting buffed by Hale. And he's going to come out with a Pinchichichur, and I don't even know what that Pokemon is. So, let's go right ahead and go with Dumbledore as a distraction. And, oh, I already know what it is. I think I switched him out. But here is Dumbledore, ready to kick some butt. And here comes a Pinkurchin. Pinkurchin, or Pinkurchin. I don't even know how to pronounce that shoot. So, let's go right ahead and use a Psy Shock. It might be a poison type Pokemon, right? I don't think so. Psy Shock. Bam, hits him pretty hard. And here comes a Curse Attack. And unlike Ghost type Pokemon, a regular Pokemon. Lowers his speed dramatically, and he's increasing both attack and defense. So that's a that, that's a that's a good benefit right there. So what we're going to do right now is uh, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and use a dazzling gleam. Alrighty, dazzling gleam nearly does the trick, but here comes a spark attack, and that right there paralyzes us. So now, yeah, we're kind of a. Uh, yeah, we're kind of in trouble right here. And, uh, well, let's see. Well, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. That is an Electric-type Pokemon, so let's go straight to Optimus Prime right now. Optimus Prime, let's go. And look at that. He's got himself a Super Saiyan here, but that spark will not hurt us. That's right. And yet, we're still getting buffed by hail. I really do, I really do hate these weather effects. It's just... You know, it just annoys me. So, well, let's finish this guy off with a Bulldoze attack right here. And just like that. Egong. Now, that's a proper move. Yeah, I get it, man. Stop working on your poses and start working on your Pokemon. So, there we go. Get more points. Dumbledore grows level 40. And, well, we're getting hit more by Hail, which is obvious. So, here he comes out with a Corviknight. This Pokemon right here, I've been waiting for you for quite some time. I have been waiting for you, so let's go ahead and switch out to Baconator right here. And here comes Corviknight. A Pokemon that we don't have. You know, Shadow Chicken, Shadow uh, Bird, or Shadow Crow, or whatever we called it. Can't evolve it to this guy, but guess what? We're faster. Let's go. Baconator Flame Wheel. Flame Wheel takes a nice chunk. And here comes a Scary Face Attack. Oh, crud. Did it increase our speed a little bit? I don't know. Okay, so now I got a quick question right here. So if hail is hitting everybody except for ice type, shouldn't the hail melt on the fire type Pokemon? I'm just asking. And well, there is that scary face 
lowering our speed. And here we go. Baconator flame attack. Look at that. Oh, yes. No more Corviknight. And, well, more experience points. Thank you very much. And, yes, more hail. Gotta love the hail. And here he comes out with Inteleon. We already know who that guy is. So let's go right ahead and switch him out for Blitzkrieg. Let's get it. Blitzkrieg attack right here. Alrighty. Him and his shiny mohawk. How will we do? I don't know, but Inteleon is looking uh, very mean. Let's go overdrive. And, well, here comes a tearful look right here. And, oh, God. Tearful look. What does it do? It decreases our attack and special attack. So, let's go overdrive attack for the win. How about that? Say goodbye to Inteleon. And yes, we keep on we keep on increasing uh, points right here, which is awesome. So what now? He's going to come out with a Snorlax, and this one right here is going to be a little bit of a mission. So let's go ahead and take out Quackor the Fowl and uh, finish this guy off. He's about to get his butt kicked by a duck with an onion for a sword and a shield. And of course, this guy is talking all his, you know what? Because he thinks he's the best. Little does he realize is that, well, guess what? We got the brick break. And we're about to lay it the smack it down. And there we go. On that candy ass. So there we go. Say goodbye to Snorlax. We humiliate, uh, what was his name again? Hop again. And everybody is increasing points. Yep. I still can't beat you. My true rival. But I can't. I think I, I'm starting to see the light. Then go to the light, please. Just go to the light. And, well... After defeating our good old buddy Hop, Sonya's like, "Thanks, you two, you two gave a uh, a right proper battle. At the rate both you are both you are going, even the unbeatable Leon may be in trouble. So what's next, you two? I plan to look into the things in the slumbering wield. I'm going to keep on challenging the, that gym. Then once I get uh, to the gym badge, I'll be heading to Route Nine to take on the Spike Month next. The hell? And of course he's running away." And our girlfriend's gonna be like, it seems like he finally shook off that gloom. Not really, he's in denial right now. In huge denial. Leon worried, uh, Leon worried if Hop wasn't feeling alright. As his rival, you shouldn't like it either, right? Yeah, I, I actually laughed at him when he got his butt kicked by that guy, uh, that, that, that guy that I thought was a girl. Yeah. See ya! Bye bye, Le uh, bye bye, uh, Sonya, my girlfriend, my love. Okay, so that is that right there, and well, uh, let's see, what is it next that we have to do? Let's see, we're going to heal up our Pokemon, and we're going to be going into the next the next route right here, because there is something of big, big, big importance. That is, uh, let's see, what is it? Oh yeah, we're going to get a modification on our bikes, and yeah, I've been wanting to do that today, or, you know, the other day, or, you know, the, the day I was recording this actual stuff, but you know what? You know... Didn't have enough time, had to go to sleep, have work in the morning. So I'm doing it today, which is, what, the 15th of February. So we're healed up, yes sir, and we are going to get the heck out of here. And let's move on right here. So after defeating the gym leader, we can actually move on into the next route, which I'm going to try and find right here because, you know, it's whatever. And there's the boutique. I believe we got some, you know, nice items from there. And I think... Yeah, no, this is the wrong area. That is a, another boutique right there, or the hair boutique. But we're going to be going to, I believe, Route 9. Where in the mother-loving heck is it? Let's see. We, we should go right here. Okay, so I'm just spinning around. Let's see. So, pass through Route 9 to reach a spike month. I think I already know where I'm going. I think I already know where I'm going. Okay, so they were blocking it. Uh, Team Riot right here. So now... We're going to go back right here, and we're going to find the area, which, of course, we're going to be taking on some snow runs right here. Okay. Alrighty. So, how are you guys doing today? How are you guys enjoying the Pokemon walkthroughs? I'm enjoying them pretty well. Uh, many of you guys already noticed that, yeah, I am coming out with a boatload of walkthroughs, and that Sneasel is following us. Holy crud. Okay, so... Okay, I don't know where I'm going. I'm sorry. So let's go right here, Route 9. Where is Route 9? Okay, so... 
Sir Chester, Route 9. Okay, so it's the other way around. Never mind. So like I was saying, guys, how are you guys enjoying the walkthroughs? I announced the other day, yes, that, you know, I will be coming out with multiple walkthroughs. Many of you guys probably thought, thought it was a bad idea because, you know, there are a boatload of walkthroughs that I'm coming out with. But I do have the time, and it's for your guys' entertainment and all that crud. And, well, here we are, Route 9. Wow. Failed to see that. Okay. And here we are in Route 9. And this is going to be a very, very interesting place to go to because of that. The lake. So before we can do anything, before we start battling anyone, let's go right ahead and, well, let's go ahead and battle. Okay. I wanted to save that for later, but let's go right ahead and start battling. Here we go. We take it on Dancer Zoe. And she is going to take out her Darumaka. Now, here in the Galarian form, it is a nice type, so it will not be affected by any of these moves that, you know, or any of these winter uh, moves like hail and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and use that rocks, uh, Rock Tomb. So like I was saying, guys, yes, I am coming out with a boatload of walkthroughs, and to some, it may be so much, but to me, I, I think it is, uh, you know, this is YouTube. Uh, it's kind of like a TV channel. And <laughs> like a TV channel, it should have a nice lineup of uh, different kinds of shows and all that stuff. So think of it as that, guys. I know that there are games that I'm not narrating, and it's mainly because I've actually played their recent games. You know, Crystal, uh, Let's Go Pikachu and all that stuff. I've done all of that. And uh, there was there's no need for me to actually keep on narrating the same thing over and over again. That's why... I make them non-narrated for, you know, for your guys' entertainment and for material for many of you guys who want to see the differences between different versions and all that stuff. And look at that, we defeated Dancer Zoe. What now? So yeah, that's pretty much a good reasoning right there. I do see a Pokeball and really, man, you're going to have to like step right in front. So here we have a Max Potion. And again, there are some interesting Pokemon that you can find right here, guys. So just be aware of all those guys. And, well, I'm going to go nice and slow because there is a hill right here, and here we are in Sir Chester Bay. Now, there is a little something-something that's going on right here, but before we go to him, we got to battle another trainer. And look at that. We got some mollusks there. We got a fisher. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. So, yeah, guys, uh, you know... Every single month, I would like to say that, you know, I'm going to come out with something new. Coming March, I can assure you this, that we will be coming out with our Pokemon Snap walkthrough. And this is uh, right in time for the newest Pokemon Snap game, which I will be featuring in April once it comes out. Trust me, guys, I am very, very excited. And this is probably going to be the first time I'm going to a game blindly for the new Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon Snap game. So just keep an eye out for that, and uh, well, we're getting uh, we're getting our butts kicked by Bariskuta. Now, some of you guys said that hey, Bariskuta is a pretty good Pokemon. Why won't you not? Why won't you use this guy? I'm seeing it, and this guy's a this guy's a, ta a tank when it comes to uh, attack. And look at that, Bariskuta or Skuda has been defeated. Look at that. Okay, and more experience. Yes, yes, yes. And, of course, Blitzkrieg is going to get hit once in a while. Here, here she's going to be coming out with Lantern, a dual-type Pokemon, an electric and water-type. So, now we're going to be switching it up right here. Alrighty. And then, uh, I've been getting good comments off of Pokemon Silver, Pokemon Ruby. Thank you, guys. Thank you once again. Uh, I will be trying to make Pokemon Silver and Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Ruby a daily thing. That way, I can finish them up. Uh, the, finish the main game up by next month or something. That way we can be in in alignment with both silver or by gold and uh, and sapphire. So those, those, those are some other things too that you guys should be looking forward to and all that crud. Okay, so enough of that. Let's go ahead and fix up the issues that's going on right here. Now, there are certain Pokemon that I have not caught, mainly because you can find them right here. Plus. They are Pokemon that you can actually get on the lake once you get on there. So this is exactly what we're going to do right now is we're going to start battling these guys right here. As you can see, Team Riot is giving an issue to uh, Michelangelo. <laughs> A Michelangelo, not really, but you know what I mean. There's no way, there's no way we're letting you anywhere near Spike Month. 
And that means we can't let you go on to Route 9. It's Team Yell's duty to cheer on these lovely Dreadnought. And we also got to stop people from heading out over the water. Bye bye. Yes, I understand. All I'm saying is that I can make it uh, make it so that Rotom Bikes can ride on water. Why, we meet again, my young my young gym challenger friend. Remember me? I gave you that bike. So, do you think you can do me another favor and teach these ruffians a lesson or two? Sure, why not? It's our duty to protect Dreadnought. And that means we're that means you're going to get going to or you're going to need to give up on the gym challenge. You look like you need convincing. So we so how about it? A Pokemon battle. Sure. I'll send you back in for the sake of Dreadnought, of course. So here it is, guys. I think yeah, this is a one-on-one -on -one battle against the team Yell Grunt and uh, as far as I'm concerned, team Yell is not really the bad guy. I'm starting to see that they are not the bad guy. Uh, they are just uh, a group of fanatics for a certain person. Who happens to be their, you know, their, I guess, uh, how should I put it, their, their unofficial leader or something like that. I mean, she acknowledges them, but unofficial leader and all that stuff. And look at that. Dumbledore grows level 41. We're getting some more points right here. And she's going to be coming out with a Pangoro. So, let's go right ahead and go with Quackor the Foul. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Yeah, they're not uh, they are not the ones. It's somebody else, I think. I, I, I don't know. But they are just big fanatics. They are, I guess, based off of, uh, what, soccer hooligans? England? Soccer hooligans? The lifestyle? Manchester U! Leeds United! Chelsea! Arsenal! You know, those guys with their, uh, their ruffians and all that crud. And look at this. We defeat a Team Rocket or Team Yell Grunt right here. He doesn't like what we just did, and well, who's next? Gah! He's gonna ride the Dreadnought! Uh oh, what's going on here? Oi! I've got an idea. We got the we gotta get on Dreadnought first and ride away. Alright, get a move on Dreadnought. See you later, Jim Challenger. Bye bye. Oh damn. What the hell's going on here? That's a fast turtle. A big fast turtle. Seems you come to aid me yet again. How's the cycling life been treating you? Are you having fun? Wouldn't it be great if you could ride your Rotom bike on the water too? That's why I'm going to add these special parts, allowing it to travel along the water's surface, just for you. And there we go, guys. We've obtained more parts to the Rotom bike. And this one right here is, this bike can be combined with the uh, Pokemon Rotom to not only do a turbo boost, but also run on water. All right, all right. With the Rotom bike water mode, you'll cruise across the water like Pokemon, uh, like Pokemon with Swiss Swim. By the way, when you're riding on land, we'll call it uh, land mode. Okay, so this right here opens a huge, and I mean huge, dimension to this whole game, guys. Back then, we couldn't even cross the water or, you know, at least get attacked by any of the Pokemon right here. But I'm going to show you guys right now what this mode can do. So, by getting the Rotom Bike right here, we are now enabled to cross the water willy-nilly, just like this. And by doing that, now po new Pokemon are, we have access to newer Pokemon. As you can see, look at that. It's like riding on, li on land, except we're on water. And just like that, we're going to be attacked by different Pokemon. I'm friggin' excited because, man, there are a lot of Pokemon that we can actually find. And not only that, guys, but this, this right here, I'm actually, uh, I'm actually going to take a trip back, back to the uh, wild area because there are spots in the wild area that you can actually access in order to find some more rare, stronger Pokemon. And would you look at that, a Glalie. All right, you know, if I can only step off right here. Okay, so let's grab this. We found ourselves the TM64 Avalanche, a very strong move. The powerful of the, or the power of this attack move is doubted if the user has been hurt by a stray, uh, by a target in the same turn. And that guy is fast and scary at the same time. Holy crud! Okay, so let us get the hell out of here. Let us get the hell out of here. All right, let's just push run right here. Okay. 
Let's get the heck out of here. So, yeah, this right here, this is a big, big thing. Especially in the wild area now that we can actually capture newer Pokemon, stronger Pokemon, and all that crud. And, well, it's time to move, get a move on right here. And, let's see, there are some different Pokemon that you can actually find. Like I said, guys, off screen, I am going to be capturing newer Pokemon, doing a lot more great things. I think we're going to take a few side quests before we can even go into the main game. As you can see, we are finding new stuff like the zoom lens. Nice item right there. And, oh, wow. This actually works on that, too. Holy crud. Okay. And, well, let's see what this guy has to say. All right, all right. The Rotom Bike Water Mode will cruise in the water. Like, uh, okay, so he's already talked to me about this. And look at this Pokemon right here, guys. This is an, an interesting Pokemon. That is, a, oh, wow. There's a Whalmer. There's Mantine or Mantikes. Holy crud. Okay, so, like I said, guys, we hit the jackpot when it came to this. Holy crud. And we can run into these Pokemon at any time. Look at that. A whole school of these guys. And... At any given moment, you're going to get attacked by these guys, and look at it. We're getting attacked by a Wild Whelmer, and... Well... Let's see. Wild Whelmer, it's already at level 41, so meaning... You just need one big uh, big gain of experience points. Or you can even just use one of your uh, your uh, rare candies to power this guy up to a Whale Lord. So that right there is freaking fantastic. And look at this guy right here. I would like to capture him, but the thing is, he does have a pre-evolutionary form, and that right there is something that I'm going to have to wait off, wait it off right here. So, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. This guy looks like a fighting-type trainer. Let's go with Dumbledore. Alrighty. And he's like, aim for your opponent's weak spot and strike. That's all there is to do, or to it. Okay, so here we go. We're taking on Black Belt Carter. He's ready to go. And he's going to come out with a Graplosit, or uh, how do you pronounce, oh, oh god, how do you pronounce these things? Graplosit? Look it? Look? Graplocked. I think that's what his name, but that's the Pokemon that we've been looking at. It is both a, what was it, it's a fighting type Pokemon? It's only a fighting type Pokemon. It could be a, it could be a water type Pokemon as well, but here comes a Psychic attack, and a Graplock has been uh, getting uh, his butt kicked and here comes a nice brick break that does not work out and well there's the hail not doing us any favors finish this guy off with one more attack here comes the side shock attack right here and look at that look at that critical hit and my god we're getting more points and this guy is just not so happy. He's like, he looks, <laughs> he looks like he just broke something. To use four moves, that's all it should take. Man, they all look like frail and weak after that. Anywho, let's just move on right here. Holy crud, we can, guys, we can ride on water. We can freaking ride on water now. This is freaking awesome right here, guys. Okay, so we are getting attacked by another Pokemon right here, and that is Whalmer. In the level 39 and I guess I know how many of you guys like it or you guys already know how much I like it when I uh, train the Pokemon from their very first form and all that stuff man am I going to be doing a lot of stuff right here we got two people waiting for us so let's go ahead and switch them out right here let's go let's go with Blitzkrieg Blitzkrieg Bob hmm and well let's see let's see let's see let's see let's go right ahead and use a lemonade now, there was a little bit of a topic on one of my videos about the Pokemon jobs. Let's see. What do you think about the secret beach? It's a small, mysterious paradise located on a very cool ocean. You've come all this way here, so I'll give you a present. And, well, we get ourselves a TM-35 or 45 dive. Very nice move. Diving on the first turn, the user floats up and attacks on the, on the next turn. The move dive. Your Pokemon won't be hit by attacks while you're diving in water. That's right. It may be similar to my uh, to my beach, which is cold and nobody visits. Oh, wow. What does this guy have to say? It certainly is a beach, but it's too cold. <laughs> yeah, you could say that again. Huh? Like, who? I'm pretty sure, like, Russians, Canadians, they are used to this kind of climate. I could see them do, like, going to the beach in the cold. Hardcore. They have thick skin like that. Holy crud. 
And, wow, we are getting attacked by Pokemon. Do not want to go there. And, well, let's just move on right here. Now, like I was saying, guys, uh, there was a big topic on my comment section about the Pokemon jobs. And I was told that you do the Pokemon jobs, it doesn't really do much for the EV training, EV IV training, or whatever it's called. Here's the thing, guys. I'm doing these walkthroughs because I'm doing these walkthroughs, okay? I don't necessarily care about the EV IV things because I'm not a competitive tra uh, Pokemon trainer. Yeah, believe it or not, not competitive at all. I just do these walkthroughs for the sheer pleasure of it. If you don't really get it, then oh well. And I think I've already been here. No, yeah, I've already been here. But I did not know about that whole EV IV training when it came to uh, the Pokemon jobs and all that stuff. So. That's that's nice to know, and uh, a nice thank you to the individual who actually brought that up. Not so much of a thank you, but just thanks and all that stuff. And, well, let's go right ahead and battle this guy right here. Witness the rules, or the results of the training I did together with my Pokemon. Man, he's he's getting ready to front snap kick me, and instead he's throwing out a Pokeball. Oh yeah, here we go, he's coming out with a sock. Oh yeah. Okay, alrighty, let's bring this. Bring it the lay it the lay or lay it the smack it down on anybody's candy butts. So here we go, Psyshock. Yes, Dumbledore is getting stronger. I am happy about that. And well, Sock, you have been defeated. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and this gets a little bit more points right here, and of course more hail onto us. And here he's gonna come out with a throw. And you know what the funny thing is? The great thing about all this is that I actually got to get a sock and throw in both versions of Sword and Shield. Very, very awesome. Look at this. And yes, you can tell he's very, very beefy, but guess what? Vital throw won't do much, except just hurt us just a tad bit. And of course the hail. You gotta you gotta love the hails. So let's go right ahead and use the Psy Shock attack. Psy Shock does the thing, and there it goes. Psyshock attack for the win. Throw has been defeated. What now? And look at this. Three level ups. Michelangelo grows to level 50. Congratulations. And Quackor is finally learning Sword Stance. I think I already taught it Sword Stance at before. Hold on. I could I could keep Peck, but I kind of want to keep it for like a flying attack. You know what? We can always learn it later. I'm just going to give it up. And... Well, look at that, Michelangelo level 50, Blitzkrieg level 47, and look at this. It's like he hit a boo-boo or something. So freaking hilarious. Okay, so let us move on right here. Who is next? And, well, we found another uh, place, like another campsite right here for Pokemon. Rumor has it that there uh, is a camping king somewhere in this in the wild area. Have you seen him? He changes the color of your tent and the rates your curry decks. Oh, if you're cold and tired, feel free to stay at my camp. As many of you guys already know, you go into the camp right here, uh, or anywhere, you can actually get more experience points for your Pokemon if you just play with them. That's all you need to do. Play. Okay, so, let's see. There are some interesting Pokemon right here that you can actually capture. What is that? Oh, that is the pre-evolutionary form of uh, that, that octopus thing. Or that octopi. Is it octopus or octopi? If it's just one or two. I don't even know. All right, so let's see. This right here says Spike Month is that way. Okay. Uh, before we battle this individual, let's go ahead and see what else we can actually find. And wow, yeah, the, <laughs> the these guys will pop out of nowhere, like they really, really want to get captured. Trust me on this one, guys. You can actually find Wilmers. You can actually find Wilmers uh, over at the wild area as well. So. There's no, there's no shortage of them, and I did see a sparkling thing. There it is, an ice stone. And wow, there are some items right here. Yeah, you can actually find items onto the, uh, onto the river, oceans, and all that stuff. And holy crap, this guy nearly appeared on me. And oh, <laughs> you don't want to get attacked by that guy. And look at that. You don't want to cross his path because he'll just like karate chop you and stuff. So let's go right ahead and wow, she's already seen us from that far away. Good eye. Whether it's uh, whether it's fishing or Pokemon battles, type matchups are important. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 
Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. Type battles. Everything. She is coming out with a quillfish. Here's Dumbledore. Now, we're using Dumbledore just to, uh, you know, for the proper reason that it's about to evolve right here. And, well, here comes a poison jab attack. And that takes care of Dumbledore. Yeah, not so happy with that kind of uh, that result right there. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Blitzkrieg. See what it can do. See if, it, if it's actually the, the right one. And, well, while this is happening... I might as well recover or, yeah, recover our Dumbledore right here because, uh, yeah. Recover this homeboy. And, well, here comes a poison jab. Will that be effective? Not so much. And, well, let's see. Well, we're getting hit by hail. That's always fun. Let's go right ahead. Overdrive. Mainly using it because it sounds fucking awesome. Fantastic. And there it is. Overdrive for the win. Everybody gets points. There we go. And, well, there's more hail coming to us. And, well, she's going to be coming out with, uh, what is that? A pu pukumi... Oh, God dang it. A pukumuku. A pukumuku? Puku it, it, I can't... I can't with these Alolan Pokemon. Now, you do see... You do see why we... <laughs> we kind of skipped... And what the inwards out? Oh crud! You do see why we we kind of skipped the, the Alolo region because of this kind of reason. And well, Marina has been defeated. Losing with a spiky Pokemon makes my heart feel prickly. Oh, poor girl, poor girl. Okay, so that right there is that. I think that's probably the last trainer, maybe. So let's see. You know what? Let's keep Dumbledore. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. No need to be lazy. No need to be freaking lazy. So here we go. Hyper potions all around. And Blitzkrieg Bob right here. Yes, sir. Okay. Let us explore some more. And be careful for those Mantax guys. They can appear anywhere, including uh, Wilmer. And it looks like to us that we still have a lot, a lot of stuff to figure out right here. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And look at that. We get attacked by a Mantax. And just to give you guys a heads up, these Mantec are a little tough. They are tough to, to take on right here because they are level 42. And we could not get away. This guy is uh, flying away. Who would ever thought... Yeah, who would ever thought a Pokemon like that could actually be very, very tough. So let's run away. Yes. While it's flying... Yeah, while he's flying, he won't... He's going to figure out where the heck am I. And we got more trainers course with uh, Hawkeye's Hawkeye vision and all that crud so let's go right ahead and do it okay so here we go taking on the wishy-washy and here we got Dumbledore now I think you can actually find wishy-washy around here probably maybe I don't even know and look at this wishy-washy and it's schooling it becomes bigger with uh, you know the whole school of these guys so Let's go right ahead and go with the Psy Shock. And the Psy Shock barely does any damage. Good crud. Oh, great. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. Holy crud. We get. Yeah, we get creamed. Oh, yeah. We're getting creamed. Okay, so now we got to switch out our Pokemon. Let's go to Blitzkrieg Bop right here. Let's go to Blitzkrieg Bop and see what happens right here. So, here we go. Taking on uh, Wishy Washy school form. And I think taking on Wishy Washy in its school form, it, it's only temporary. It lasts like maybe a few turns and all that stuff. And of course, you're getting hit by Hail as well. So, let's go with a Discharge Attack. And yes, we are the faster Pokemon right here. And that takes care of Washy Washy or Wishy Washy. Yeah, buddy. And look at this. Dumbledore grows a level 42. We're getting buffed by Hale. And, well, he's going to come out with the Wailord. I like a challenge. Let's keep it with Blitzkrieg. Wow. That is a big old Pokemon right there. Big ass Pokemon. So here we go. Discharge attack. And just like that, it gets eliminated. He had no chance. Okay. Alrighty. So Logan has been defeated. 
Okay, I'm, I'm feeling good about myself, and well, there it is, guys. Dumbledore finally evolving one last time, and this is a good one too because it now gains the fairy type uh, or the fairy type typing. And look at that, Hatterini. I should probably like name her. Uh, what was it? I should probably name her. What's his face? Uh, uh, Hermione or something, probably. So here we go, Hatterini, the silent Pokemon. It is a psychic and fairy type Pokemon. 6'11, 11, 11 pounds, not so much. It emits psychic power, strong enough to cause headaches as a deterrent to approach the others. Hmm. And with this, it is actually grown or it is actually learning a new move, which is Psycho Cut. And well, let's see. It's a special attacker. This is a physical attack. Yeah, screw it. Let's see, physical attack. Oh, damn. That is a conundrum right there. It's just a physical attack right here. Yeah, it's just a physical attack, guys. Now that it's uh, special attack is all the way up there, I'm just going to keep it as such. Not going to not gonna teach a psycho cut. And, well, that is that right there. So let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here. Let's go ahead and give Dumbledore a little bit more juice. And go with Blitzkrieg. And one more. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right now. Let's go with, uh, you know what? We're going to go with Blitzkrieg right now. And, let's see. I don't think there's going to be an item right here. Oh, wait. I do see a sparkling area. And look at that. We found ourselves a normal gen. And, let's see. Nothing right there. Let's go avoid these Pokemon right here because we don't want to get our butts kicked. And look at that. We found ourselves another item. And it is the TM22 Rock Slide. And, well, look at that. Okay, TM22 is good. And, let's see. Oh, wow. Whew! He's about to catch us right there. And, yeah, we already visited this area right here. So, let us move on. Look at this. We've seen that Pokemon before back in Pokemon X and Y. It is a pretty, pretty good Pokemon. And, well, let's see. We're going to explore just a little bit more before we can even finish it off right here. Uh, trying to avoid all these Pokemon. And there is a small island right there with somebody waiting for us. And she just looked at us right there. I'm all rested up, so how about you uh, be my opponent? Sure, I will be your opponent. So here she is. Swimmer Scarlet Johansson would like to battle us. And she's coming out with her Remoraid. Look at that. She's looking lovely and all that stuff. But guess what? Blitzkrieg doesn't give a nothing he don't give nothing and here we go discharge attack finish him yeah buddy say goodbye to Remoraid okay alrighty and look at this we're getting experience points getting buffed by ice what else is new and she she's gonna be coming out with artillery now what used to be the only octopus Pokemon in the whole world now we have two and this guy can actually fight it it looks like a kickboxer with very, very fat tentacles. And Octillery defeated. Feeling good. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Alrighty. And look at this. We grow to level 50 for Optimus Prime and the ice. You got to love the ice. And she's going to be coming out with a Mantine. So let's go right ahead. Let's go right ahead and just, uh, yeah, discharge. We got to love the discharge again. So here we go. Discharge attack. Does it? Can it do it? Yes, it does. Say goodbye to Mantine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And more experience points for all of us. And Scarlet doesn't like... She doesn't like the way we, we, we do business here, so she's just gonna, like, you know, flip us off a little or something. And, well, we found ourselves this. Let's go ahead and shake it up. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so that's one. There's another one. That's two. Please... Come on, third time's a charm, and there we go, three. Okay, so we've got ourselves a few berries, not so bad, and well, let's see, they're, we're kind of trapped right here, so now we're going to have to go the other way. Of course, we're going to get attacked by another Pokemon, a Mantike. Man, you got to love this Pokemon right here. Okay, so we need to run away because we do not want to battle these guys, so... Let's go right ahead and get the heck out of here. That guy's looking at us all cockeyed. 
And, well, let's see. I have to beat him. Okay, so let's go ahead and swap Pokemon. Go to Optimus Prime, and... Let's go right ahead. That's right. Swimming trains muscles. Muscles launch moves. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. Taking on another Pokemon trainer. Swimmer Jacob would like to battle. Is this how all the uh, people from uh, England are? Swimming in the cold? Because if they are, then good God. Hardcore. Hardcore. Okay, so here we are taking on a, uh, well, a cloister. Not going to be hard, so... Here we go, body press. Let's get it, body press does something, and well, here he comes with a whirlpool, so let's go right ahead and uh, take that hit. So, we're, in, we're stuck in the vortex. And, yeah, there's no way out. Okay, so now we're gonna go with another vo uh, body press right here. So here we go, body press does the trick. Say goodbye to Cloyster, yeah buddy. Okay, alrighty. Yeah, and well, there goes Jacob. He is not happy. To deal with the shock of losing, I'm going to swim far, far away. Then you need to. You have to. Okay, so let's see. What does that sign say? Trainer tips. There are times when you throw a Pokeball to catch a Pokemon, and it shakes just once. The more Pokemon you catch, the more likely this curious phenomenon is to occur. Since it makes more likely that you'll be able to catch your target, it's called a critical catch. Now, I can I can say that I've actually had a critical catch maybe a handful of times. Just a handful of times. And, well, here we have a protector, which is an item that can actually be used to evolve uh, our good old buddy, Rhydon. And, well, of course, Mantike is getting on my tits about this. I wonder if repels actually work. I wonder if they do. Okay, so let's run away right here. And, well, let's see, let's see. Let us move on right here. Let's go right ahead and not go there. So, I think we've already explored everything right here. Now we just need to get the heck out of here. So, find the right area. Avoid these Pokemon like the plague. We've already been there. So, let's see. Ah, here we are. We are at the exit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. All righty. And, of course, we get spotted by a trainer. I'm doing research to see if one day I can swim anywhere with my beloved Toxop uh, Toxapex. Toxapex. Okay. So, here we are going up against Layla. And, uh, well, let's see what Layla can do right here. Coming out with her scary-looking Pokemon, Toxapex. And... Well, it is both a poison and poison and a water type Pokemon, but good for us, you know. Bulldoze attack can take care of this Pokemon right here. And look at that, its speed has gone down, and now comes a Vanishock attack. And wow, that really hurts us right there. And again, the hail—you gotta love the hail. Okay, so here we go. Bulldoze attack again. Yeah, buddy. What now? What now? How do you like me now? And well, there goes another Pokemon leveling up right there. And Blitzkrieg wants to learn Boom Burst. This is a very, very good move right here. As you can see, it is 140 power and 100 accuracy. The user uh, attacks everything around it with the destructive power of its terrible explosive sound. This is a special type move. So. Let's go ahead and, well, let's see, these are both the same size. Yeah, you know what, let's go ahead and take away the Discharge for the time being. And there we go. Boom Burst has been uh, put in and Layla has been defeated. Oh, yeah. Okay, alrighty. Alright, so let's see. I, I, I'm hoping that I haven't skipped anything right here. Before I do anything, I hope... Yeah, I didn't skip anything at all. Yeah, I've been through it all. Okay, so... That is pretty much it for this route right here, guys. And uh, like I said, getting a... Uh, basically, you know, we, we a whole new dimension has opened up for us since we got, you know, the bike that can run around the, the ocean and all that stuff. And here we are in Route 9, Outer Spike Month. And you're going to be seeing a whole bunch of Pokemon right here that you can actually want to capture. Like Bergmerg or whatever it's called. Just keep your heads up for that. And, well, we're going to get this right here. Look at this. We get ourselves a scope lens. 
Now that I'm held by a Pokemon, its lens for scoping out weak points, it boosts the holder's critical hate rate ratio. And, well, before we can go there, we have to go right here because there is a city amongst us, and that is Spike Month. And, well, here we have three dire hits. And if you walk up to this area right here, you're going to see that it's one big old warehouse. And, well, I can't... I can't enter Spike Month, so I've been hanging out around this whole time. No one can challenge the Dark Type leader like this. What? Uh, what's with the gate being shut? How am I supposed to get a gym badge now? Oh wow, very impatient people. And here is our other girlfriend, Marnie. Hey, Draven. Ooh, ooh la la, the Dark Type gym leader, Dark Type uh, girlfriend, and we are gonna have to sneak in here because, uh, yeah. There's a lot of stuff that we get, we're gonna actually find right here, and holy crud, that Pokemon could attack us. Running away! And before we do anything, let's go ahead and, oh, I thought we could actually jump here. Run away! Okay. There's an item right here, we found ourselves three guard specs, and well, here's our gothic girlfriend, Marnie. I was born here, so I know I, another way in. If you want to get into the town, how about I show you the way? But you're my rival, so you'll have to beat me in a battle first. Got it? Oh, sure. With pleasure. And before anything can happen, oh god, Team Yell is here and they're like, you've, you've had a pretty good streak in the gym challenge. Like me, I respect you as my rival. In all that, but I got too, mu I got too much at stake to go around losing now. Oh damn. <laughs> It turns out she's got more balls when her crew's there. So here we go, taking on our gothic girlfriend, Marnie. And here she's coming out with the Liperd. This Pokemon's looking like a, like it could do some damage right here, some real damage. So, yeah, she's powered up her Pokemon a whole lot. Let's go right ahead and well, use a body press. Let's go, body press. And, yeah, unfortunately for us, we're not that fast yet. So here we go, body press for the win. Look at that. Body press. Goodbye. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So that right there. Baconator is the third Pokemon to go up to level 50. And here she's going to be coming out with a Toxic Croak. So let's go right ahead and switch out her Pokemon to Michelangelo. Or Michelangelo for short. And, well, let's see what's going to happen right here. Michelangelo looking like... 1500 bucks right here, taking on this Toxic Croak. And, well, let's see, we do not have a move that's very effective against this guy, so let's go with a Liquidation Attack. Now, crud, that does not affect this Pokemon, and here he comes out with a Swagger. So right away, I actually, yeah. Right away, I give, yeah, right away, I I, I put, I send my my Pokemon to the, to the, to the, to, to the dungeon right here. So let's go ahead and switch it out to Dumbledore. Let's go right ahead. Okay, Dumbledore. First battle as a new Pokemon. And here we go with the Sucker Punch. Not so effective right now. So let's go with the Side Shock right here. Let's finish him. And what the heck? Oh, God. Okay, so it would seem that our Pokemon is a little slow right now. Okay. Come on, finish him. And here comes a Psyshock right there. And, well, there goes Toxicroak. One hit, KO. What's up? And, well, let's see. Who is next right here? She's coming out with a Scrafty. Let's get this. Let's go for Baconator. Let's go for Baconator right now. And, let's see. I wonder what this, uh, what Baconator could do. Here we go with a Scrafty attack. And, well, let's see, it is also a uh, Dark-type Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and go with the Bug Bite right here. And that, uh, that I thought was going to be effective, but it, nothing. Okay, so let's go, Flame Wheel. Let's start doing this right here. And there we go. Flame Wheel does its thing, and here comes a Swagger attack. We're not liking it. And, oh crud, oh crud. Okay, so let's go right ahead, and wow, she's using a Hyper Potion. <laughs> oh man, okay, so right now, 
right now we have to go start all over again and we're getting hurt by confused right here that right there hurts us a lot so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and switch it uh, let's go ahead and do something right here uh, yeah, screw it full heal let's go Baconator come on Baconator ready to go and we snapped out of the confusion here comes a crunch attack and now we got another thing to worry about because our defense has fallen. And so, let's go right ahead. Flame wheel. Now that our physical attack has gone up, let's go for the flame wheel. And that takes more. And unfortunately for us, I think we're going to lose here. And yes, we lost. God dang it. Okay. Whew. Okay, so we are... Yeah, I've had enough of this. So let's go right ahead and go for Quack or the Foul. Let's get it. Let's go for the Brick Break. Even though you're still a fighting type Pokemon, you still can't defend against a fighting type Pokemon. And look at that. That is revenge for our fallen friend right there. And Quack or grows to level 46. Now she's going to be coming out with a more Pico. I kind of want to... Yeah. Oh, wow. She's got her riled up and everything. Oh, snap. Our gothic girlfriend's looking a little mean, and look at this. More Pico. Now, if you guys don't know, this guy changes, uh... Yeah, this guy changes moods more often than not. And I think it has an effect on his stats afterwards, and... Well, before it can even get off its effect, we defeat him with the Brick Break. And just like that, we grow more levels, and Marnie has been defeated. What's that? What's with that? My Pokemon didn't get a chance to really do the thing at all. <laughs> oh. Nope, not at all. Okay. My partner, Morpico, has been interested in you and your strength. And I think I get it now. But you, but I've got everyone in Spike Month supporting me. I'm definitely going to get all eight badges. Just, as, just so I can have a rematch with you. Don't you forget it. I'll get my revenge in the Champion's Cup. Ooh. Anyway, I promise I'll show you the way in, so follow me. Well, what'd you think? Well, what do you think about that? Okay, so... Because of that, we can finally enter Spike Month, guys. And, wow, it has been a while to get there. And look at this place right here. It is fantastic-ish. Good-looking place. Ugh, I love the decor. Of course, I'm being a little sarcastic. So... Just like that, guys, we finally reached Spike Month. In the next episode, I believe we will be going up against the next gym leader. I don't think there's going to be a uh, Gigantamax battle in this one. But like I said, guys, now that we got the bike that can, that can basically surf, it opens up a whole new dimension. Just wait for it, guys. We will be going through a lot more in this walkthrough. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.